Okay. Well, y'all, good morning. Uh, this is a this is another great day in South Carolina. Uh, we have news, and that is the unemployment insurance tax rate is going down uh, starting next year, and this is a result of good work by a number of people, and including Director Stanton, also Governor Haley, the General Assembly, and many of the businesses and organizations in South Carolina. You remember after the recession of 2008, we had a lot of unemployment and we were having to put so much money out, we were running out, so we had to borrow a billion dollars from the federal government. As a result of that, these people I mentioned realized we were in a problem, in a ditch, and decided we have to get our way out of it, work our way out. So we developed a plan where the, the rates went up and also uh, money was put in a rainy day fund in case it happens again, and over the years, uh, we've consistently worked towards that. And all, over the year, years since then, the growth rate in South Carolina has been nothing short of phenomenal. And uh, to just to state the obvious, because you've all seen it, we, we're going right to the top in South Carolina. We've got businesses that are, are growing in state. We've got entrepreneurs, innovation uh, coming up. And also we've got big companies coming from around the world that are fascinated with their opportunity in South Carolina, and they are, they're coming here uh, it, it more and more frequently. And they're all saying the same thing. This is the best place for prosperity and growth in the United States. So we're, we're ready for that. And the, the wise work that was done by the people that I mentioned have resulted in the, uh, what is now will be a reduction of approximately 10.2% from last year. Uh, in the tax, this is a amounts to about $25 million less that will be paid in by businesses in South Carolina, and we hope it keeps going in that direction, and that's what we're working towards as we grow. With me today are the Director of the Department of Employment and Workforce, Cheryl Stanton, uh, President of South Carolina Staffing Association, Debbie Varner, the National Federation of Independent Business, Ben Homeyer, and Mark Nix, President and CEO of Home Builders Association, and they all have something to say. Thank you, Governor. As you mentioned, I'm Cheryl Stanton, Executive Director at the Department of Employment and Workforce here in South Carolina. And it's a great day, and we have great news. Um, once again, we've been able to cut the unemployment tax rates for our businesses here in South Carolina. And this is the work of a lot of, of good people. Um, first, I do want to thank the General Assembly for all the work that they did to revamp the tax system and the support that they've given the department over the last few years. I want to thank the people in the department who have really learned to work harder and smarter and more efficiently to make sure that the people who get unemployment benefits are truly those who lost work through no fault of their own. And most importantly, I want to thank our business community, because our business community, their growth, their attention to make sure that they give us the information so that the right people are getting unemployment benefits, and just the fact that they keep hiring is why we're able to do this today. Um, lastly, I do want to note, we do have approximately 70,000 of our businesses who are paying less in taxes now than they did under the uh, old structure, which really shows you how far we've come with this process. Um, lastly, for those businesses out there asking, well, what is my tax rate for 2018? Right now, we are putting up on the due website the new tax structure. You'll see all the rates for all 20 classes. And today, we're putting in the mail the tax rate notices. So in a couple of days, you will get the notice that tells you what tax rate you're in and how much your money, how much your rate will be. That's important. And we've done it in November, year after year now, at the business's request, so they can budget and plan for what their unemployment taxes will be for next year. So I just want to say again, thank you to everybody in the business community, the General Assembly, and most important, the governor, for his great leadership and helping us get to this point. Thank you. Hello. Again, I'm Debbie Varner. I'm president of the South Carolina Staffing Association, as well as CEO and owner of Recruiting Solutions, a staffing company with offices in the upstate Midlands and PD area. This is great news. Thank you to the legislators, to the governor, to uh, SCDU for this news. 
Suda taxes represent a significant portion of employment taxes for employers, and this tax reduction and um, will positively impact not only employers to hire more people, but to have more money to invest in um, capital improvements and capital investments in our state. So again, thank you. We look forward to putting more South Carolinians to work. Good morning. I'm Ben Homeyer. I'm the state director for the National Federation of Independent Business. We are the largest small business group in South Carolina. Uh, I do need to echo uh, what the other said in thanking the General Assembly, uh, thanking Director Stanton and Governor McMaster under all of their leadership and, and stewardship. The trust fund has been rebuilt and the rates have been lowered in a responsible manner and, and I can't uh, tell you how wonderful that is for, for small businesses. And our numbers internally have shown that hiring is going on, that the money is going back into our businesses, our small businesses, and that money then is also going back into other businesses across the state. And with the holiday season coming up, having more money to hire new employees, to get more product, to spend in other businesses uh, is, is wonderful for our state. So I, I want to thank thank those that have have made this possible, and uh, we look forward to it continuing. Good morning. My name is Mark Nix with the Home Builders Association of South Carolina. I'm just going to mimic what was said already. I can't thank enough the leadership of our governor, the General Assembly, and of Duke. I mean, they in record time paid back the fund, and now going back and lowering the rates is a great opportunity for all of us especially in our industry and every small business, this is an, they create opportunities for your business. And as Ben said earlier, this is more money back in the pockets for all workers, which also helps, especially during Christmas time. So once again, we want to thank the governor, the General Assembly, and Duke for all their hard work and good stewardship. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, if you think about it for a minute, the unemployment rate is the lowest it's been since 2001. We have the most people employed in the state that we've ever had and taxes just went down. That's pretty good. We're going to keep on doing that. That's a good glide path to be on as we go up.